Hi there, welcome to No Nonsense Whiskey. My name is Vim PF, and on today's episode, we're not reviewing whiskey, we're actually doing something a little bit different. Now, as you can tell by the title, we're going to be talking about Solera and Infinity bottles today. Now, for me, they're kind of one and the same, but people treat them a little bit differently, and there's a couple of different ways you can go about it. There's plenty of different videos on people, other people like me who have done similar things, but this is my take on it, and uh, you can let me know what you do below if you agree with what I like, then just chuck it in the comments below and uh, we'll, we'll have a little chat about it. But first things first, you need to pick a bottle and it can be whatever you want. It can be something that's definitely sealed. I prefer to pick something that I quite like. So for instance, I have two here on the table and that is the Hibiki Japanese Harmony bottle because it's a beautiful decanter. The only downside to this is the cork, which won't last forever. So I'll have to worry about that when the time comes. You can obviously delabel these things. Um, I didn't, probably should have, but I did with this one. Eagle Eyes will recognise this straight away, and that's the Hay Club Clubman bottle. I really like the kind of blue glass to it, even though it is a bit tacky, but this is the kind of stuff that sits in your cabinet, so it's not really that much of a problem. The reason why I have two is because of the way I do things. So these two here i have one for kind of bourbons and american whiskies and i have one for scotch and other stuff so if it if it's like a foreign whiskey if it's something that's like new world or something i judge it depending on how it is with these two so if it's more kind of bourbony grainy stuff it'll go in here if it's more scotch-esque it goes in this one now some people will only put the best of the best in their infinity bottles or their solera bottles and generally speaking, what you do is you put like the last of the dregs of your bottles into a bottle, and when it gets full, you drink it. So you're kind of blending your own thing. Now, some people like to keep track of it all, they like to write down exactly what's in it. I don't do that. For me, this uh, I treat them as literally infinity bottles, so these things never dry out. So uh, you can see at the moment, they're sort of roughly, not, not even that drank at all. Same with this one, if you can even see that, hold it up to the light. It's right at the top. I drink these constantly and I add to them constantly, but I only put in things that I really, really, really liked. Anything that I don't like, like the last video I just did, the Bells 21, check that out up there, that doesn't go in there. Now the only downside of not curating it properly is that every now and again, the whiskey in this bottle might taste a little off. And it happens. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's not so good. If you only chuck things in you like, then it's very unlikely you'll hate it still, you just won't love it. Right now, for instance, this one is a really good place. This one, not so much. So I'm waiting for some good bourbons to finish up and I can chuck them in there. But I do fix them every now and again. I've got some new make spirit that I can raise the ABV very quickly. And you can also chuck things in there like a bit of sherry, just to, if you like the sherry cask flavours. But if you really like your peated stuff, it's very easy to, to fix them because you can chuck in something very heavily peated, just even half a dram, and the whole thing just gets covered in smoke. But that is kind of top tip number one, is if you're not into smoky whiskies, do not put a smoky whiskey in your Infinity or Solera bottle because it will taste like smoke for a very long time until you can kind of weed out that liquid. But that's what I tend to do, really. Literally, uh, if it gets to about halfway down and I've not been adding stuff to it because the bottles haven't been coming in, then I'll stop drinking that. That will sit on the shelf and it will stay there until I can get it to a reasonable level. So really, these never get below halfway and they kind of never really fill up either because I always want to make sure there's room in there for more drams. So what you can see here is a kind of a good level that I like to keep. So if it's more than that, I'll make sure I drink it until it's down there and then start adding things to it again. But as you can imagine, with the reviews that I do, I have uh, little dregs of samples after I've done my videos and stuff. They all go in here. So in these ones here, you've got anything from new make spirit to kind of 30, 40 year. I think even part of a 50 year blended from Boutique Whiskey Company ended up in here. But it's also got stuff that's a lot younger. If I liked it, it goes in there. I'm not fussy. But yeah, that's really my kind of very quick guide to infinity bottles. Everyone does it their own way. Uh, I don't really like to worry about what is in there because if you write it down and it looks great, you filled it up, great, but then what happens when you get down to here? If it's full of 50-year-old stuff, you're not gonna wanna add anything to it, you're not gonna wanna 
finish it even. So for me, that doesn't really work. I prefer the kind of, it, like literally infinity bottle. It never dries out, but it's always changing, always changing, sometimes growing, sometimes gets a little bit worse, but you kind of learn what works and what doesn't work. And it's kind of like a bit of a masterclass in blending that you can have a go at your, in your own house, in your own pace. The, that brings me on to my kind of final tip of it all as well. If you're not sure what a whiskey is going to do to a bulk liquid, you can always just measure out a, a measure of it and then add a little bit of the one you're trying to add to it and see if it makes any difference. But I say just chuck it in. If you're not sure, but you like both of it, if you like what you've got there and you like this, the chances are you're going to at least semi-enjoy it. You're not going to hate it. So yeah, let me know what you guys do for the Solera Infinity Bottles. I know loads of you out there that do it. If you don't do it and you do give it a try, don't forget to come back to this video and let me know how you get on. And if you want to have a general discussion about it, chuck it in the comments below and we'll uh, talk tips on Infinity Bottles. 